Uh, was an 18-year-old kid playing around with a camera at uh, warm-ups at a at a, uh, a New York Islander game because uh, I was there first season, and uh, uh, from the balcony of Madison Square Garden, sent him to the Hockey News uh, up in Canada, and they said, uh, "Sure, we'll buy some photos from you. Three bucks a photo." And for me, it got me a start, got me into the games. You may not know Bruce Bennett, but if you're a hockey fan, you certainly know his work. For the last 25 years, he's been taking pictures of the fastest game on ice, and now he finds himself the official team photographer of no fewer than four NHL clubs. For the New Jersey Devils, of course, uh, as well as the New York Islanders, the New York Rangers, and the Philadelphia Flyers. And with my staff of photographers, there are 10 who work out of our office in New York. Um, we get all the games covered. And, you know, besides those teams, we also uh, were staff photographers for the Hockey News and Rinkside Magazine and contributors to just about anyone who uses hockey photos. Come game time, Bruce Bennett spends most of his time right here in the photographer's box, right next to the Devil's Bench. Not a bad seat if you're going to watch a hockey game and take some pictures. But over his 25 years, you kind of wonder how many pictures has he taken? We were trying to get a, a real handle on how many images we had in file and four of us did the count um, and uh, not a not a one by one by one two three count but uh, a count a rough count on what we had and i think the number ended up at around 1.3 million images uh... and so it's hard to hard, hard to think of individual ones in there there are a few that stand out that were also great memories uh... for me but uh... for the most part it's uh... it's one blur Last winter, Bruce added the Olympics to his resume, and this spring will mark his 20th consecutive Stanley Cup Finals. At the Meadowlands, I'm George Falkowski, News 12 New Jersey Sports.